friends, it's Nancy Jacobs from Embroidery It at EmbroideryIt.com. And how are you all today? Guys, I'm so glad to be here with you. We are going to make this cute little shamrock coaster. I guess actually it's a four-leaf clover, but I, I called it a shamrock coaster. Um, so if you're looking for it, that's the name you want to look uh, for. And we're going to make it for St. Patrick's Day. You guys, if you're new to applique, if you're new to machine embroidery, new to in the hoop, you guys are going to watch me stitch this in real time, and you're going to see just how quick and easy it is to make this sweet little coaster. We're going to be done in like 20 minutes or less. So let me tell you the supplies you need to get started here. I've got my 4x4 hoop hooped up with a lightweight tearaway stabilizer. Two pieces of felt. You guys can use any color. You can use green if you like. Um, cut 5x5 five five square. You need a scrap piece of fabric. Uh, if you have a four inch square piece of fabric, that's great. This is a little bit smaller. I know it fits, but four by four, you're good to go for sure. And you're gonna need some thread to match your cotton fabric and some other thread to match your felt. And I already have the white loaded up into my machine. It's ready to go. That's the first color we're gonna use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hoop my stabilizer. There's no fabric on here. It's just stabilizer hooped up. That's it. And I have my design already loaded up in the machine, so it's good to go. I'll lower the camera so you guys can see exactly what's happening here. Okay, the hoop is on the machine, and it's going to stitch what we call a placement line. This is going to show us where we're going to place our fabric. Now y'all know what? One more thing you're going to need is some tape, some paint. I like to use painter's tape. You just need a little piece of it. You'll need that for later on here. Okay, that's stitched the square that shows us exactly where we need to place our felt. So we're going to put our felt over the placement line, just kind of center it. If you would like to tape this in place, feel free. I usually find that the felt just stays in place right where it needs to be. Sometimes you kind of have to hold it for a few stitches, but the felt seems to, it stitches really nicely. What's happening here now is what we call the tack down. This is tacking down the felt to the stabilizer. It's attaching it there. You will see, now I'm going to change the thread color to green to get ready to, to uh, stitch the shamrock. But you will see if you print out the thread chart that the the placement line is in red and the tack down shows blue. Well friends, you don't have to use red and blue thread. When we create the designs, we have to use different colors to make your embroidery machine stop so that you can actually do the next step. And it's you'll see it's pretty much industry standard to show red thread for placement, blue thread for tack down. And now what I'm going to do is you're going to see the placement for our shamrock. And again, if you were looking at the thread chart, you would notice this, um, you would notice this being a red thread, but here I'm using green. I'm using the color that's going to match my fabric. I'll get my, just my little scrap here ready to go. Okay, so that showed the placement of where I need to put my shamrock fabric. And I just need to make sure that the fabric covers every place that there was stitching. Again, if you want to use tape to tape it down, you most certainly can. But I find just, you know, just watch it closely, watch your fingers closely, but I find I can just watch it carefully and I don't need to use the tape for this part of the design. Oh, 
Okay, so that tacked down our cotton fabric to the felt. Now what we're going to do, friends, we're gonna take the hoop off of the machine, but do not unhoop your design. Let me push the machine back so you can see exactly what I'm doing here now. And get your applique scissors. I like to use these little spring action scissors. And then just trim around the stitching line close to the stitching. Some of you have written and asked what brand of little spring action scissors do you use? And you guys know what? I've got, I'm not kidding you, I've got like four pair floating around the studio here. And I, I have seriously worn some out before. Uh, I'll just go onto Amazon and type in the search bar spring action scissors and whatever comes up, I usually get just get the cheapest. I have purchased them before at the fabric store. I've purchased them at my sewing machine dealer. So just, you know, wherever you can get a good buy, that they, they really all operate about the same, or, or they do operate the same, but they all have the same uh, level of sharpness. So here now you can see that the I've trimmed around close to the stitching line. Everything's still in the hoop. We're going to put the hoop back on the machine, pull the machine forward a little bit so it's, you guys can see it. And what's going to happen now is it's going to stitch a decorative satin border. It's going to stitch the, the border around the edge of the shamrock here. Now friends, this is going to take a few minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the camera up so, so we can kind of see each other here a little bit, and I can talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the other designs that we've been doing here. Let's fix this a little bit more. And here you can see these are the designs. We, we're up to the, the Shamrock is design number seven. These are the ones we've been doing. If you guys haven't been over to embroideryit.com, the designs are released free for one month. And then at the end of the month, it, it goes for sales just $1.50 on the website. And then after that, um, a, a new design comes out. So there's always something going on there right now. If you're watching during the month of February, uh, the little shamrock is the free design that you can grab. You do need to sign up for the newsletter though because that's where I give the link. So when you're over there at embroideryit.com, sign up for the newsletter and uh, then you'll get the link to the, the free designs. We also do an alphabet that uh, we go through one letter each week um, that's free. Again, and it's just for a week, then it goes up for sale. Um, so that's another thing we have going on. So I showed you those designs here uh, this last month. I just showed you how to put your name on the heart, and we did this without any software. So friends, if you're if you're new to this, you don't have software, or maybe you've been watching on YouTube and the software you have is version six, and the person showing. The, the, the software is using version 8 and it's not matching up. Well here, I showed you how to do it without using any software at all and to get the placement. So you guys can see that uh, over on the Embroidery at Facebook page. I also put that video on a blog post so you can see it, you can find it there. Here is, so I showed you the there's the little present we did, and here's how you can change it into, you can hang this on your tree for an ornament, or you can make it a tag for a gift just by sandwiching in a little bit of, of uh, ribbon between the pieces of felt, and I'll show you guys that in just a minute, how to do that. Next month, we got a cute little Easter egg for you guys next month. So you won't want to miss that. This one is a little more detailed than the, the shamrock that we're doing. You know, we've got the big egg, but then we've also got the leaves, the flower, and the little waves. So there's a little more applique involved. This one takes just a little bit longer to do. But anyway, it's really cute. You can decorate. Um, 
you can have a whole bunch of them in all different colors. This can make your coasters all the same. You can make them different colors. Great teacher gifts. Uh, you're having you know, like a ladies luncheon. You could do everybody's coaster a little bit different. So when they're setting their glass on here, they would know whose glass is whose, depending on what color of fabric was used for their coaster. So, another thing that's exciting that has just happened is, you guys, I have my own shopping cart on my website now. It's like I am moving up in the world with this little, this little business of mine. So you will still find Embroidery It on Etsy, you will still find it on Zibit, but now friends, I've got my designs on my own website, which I'm like so excited about. And this, I mean, it just launched it just a couple of days ago. I'd love for you to come over and take a look at it. You go to embroideryit.com, there's a big green button that says enter the store here. You click on the button, it takes you to the store and you take a look around if you guys notice anything that maybe seems off let me know because I'm really open to the feedback I want to make this website look, look, look amazing you guys, I mean I'm just a one woman show here so I'm, I I do everything from start to finish all myself I even built the website myself um, but yeah, I want it to look really good for y'all so stop over there take a look and for any purchases of, of any size made on the website, now this does not include Etsy, it does not include Zivit, but on my website, you guys, I've got a free set for you here. And this is, this is cool. These are little uh, pockets here. And this, so this was made on the 4x4 hoop. There's four designs in two sizes each. One was made on the 4x4 hoop, one was made on the 5x7 hoop. So this one uses a 5-inch wooden embroidery hoop. Here's another one of the small size. You guys can, you know, write your menu on a piece of paper, tuck it in here, and I even put little magnets on the back so you can stick it on the refrigerator. You know, tuck your menu in there, keep you guys organized. This one, I'm actually gonna keep this one here in my sewing room. I put little, these little scissor fabric because I thought that was really cute. And I'll keep my receipts from my shop at the fabric store, things that are, are tax deductible for me that I want to keep the receipts for. I'll keep them all right here and keep them handy. And this one was stitched on the 5x7 hoop and it uses an 8 inch wooden embroidery hoop. And this one is for going up in my kitchen to keep all my coupons in so when I go to the grocery store they are all handy. So then just I just decorated the hoop with buttons and ribbons and good magnets on the back so I can stick it on the refrigerator. So just a handy little thing here. Anyway, that this set here, the four designs, two sizes each, so a total of eight designs. You guys get I send that to you free. It's actually it's through just this week. It's through February 17th. So if you're watching the video after that, because I'm sorry. Uh, but there, so there's always fun things going on over there at Embroidery It. Um, so but if you're seeing the video before then, pop over and take a look at the, the store. If you order something, I'll send that design set to you. All right, I'm going to lower the camera now so you guys can see it's just kind of finishing up the stitching here. Going around the outside of that satin stitch. What I want to have ready now is I want to get my next piece of felt ready. I also want to get my painter's tape ready. I won't need very much of it. I trim those around the outside edge with pinking shears, but you guys can use straight scissors. But you know, it's whatever you like. It, it, it doesn't matter at all. If you want to put a hanger on, this is where you would get ready to do that. You will want about 11 inches of ribbon for the hanger. Just 
lot of curves that it has to go around to get around that shamrock or four leaf clover. The machine that I'm using here, this is a Brother 1250D. The D stands for Disney. It has a few built-in Disney designs in it. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to leave the green thread in here. And we're, again, we're going to take the hoop off of the machine, but do not unhoop your design. Here's where we're at. Here's what the back is looking like right now. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn the hoop upside down. And we're going to take our second piece. Move that out of the way so you can see there. Take our second piece of felt, lay it right on top. Take our painter's tape, I'm going to tear it into four small pieces, and I'm going to tape the corners. This is what puts the back of the coaster in place, and this is what's going to attach the back to the front. Now friends, if you wanted to put a little ribbon on, you would cut, cut your 11 inches of ribbon and just tape it right there in the center, tape it where the ends are down inside and then the loop is up and out of the way and you would you would sandwich that ribbon underneath this piece of felt here so that the ends would be hidden. Alright, let's turn it back over and we'll put the hoop back on the machine and got the green thread in there we're just gonna let it go uh, for those of you that get the newsletter already you know that I showed a picture one of the, the ladies took the heart that we did here this one right here and she did three of them along the edge of a hand towel it was just as cute as can be um, another lady the, the uh, mitten and she made her instead of attaching it to the, the coaster portion she just had the mitten and it made into a cute little ornament so there's more things that you, you wouldn't have to attach it to a coaster she just she just stitched the mitten onto her tearaway stabilizer directly she just she left off the felt and Cute, cute, cute little ornament. People are putting these on t-shirts and other clothing items. It's just some fun things that you can do. You don't have to make it into a coaster if you don't want it a co to be a coaster. And, you know, just have, have fun with your colors. Because if you want to make these as a gift, you could do four of them differently and you know package up four or six put a pretty bow around it again this would be a great teacher gift it would be a, a nice gift for co-workers um, if you're following along with me and you're stitching these out each month you're going to have we're going to finish off with 12 of them so after the easter egg uh, then we'll have four more left to go and then we'll, we'll do something else after this but I, I had said we would do these applique coasters for a full year, so we're, we're on the back half now. But these would make some just really wonderful Christmas gifts. So think ahead here. You can get some of your Christmas gift giving made early and out of the way. And it's just coming around this last corner. And my machine's going to beep and tell me that it is finished. It's done. All right. We're going to take the hoop off of the machine. And friends, we can now unhoop our design. We can take our tear away stabilizer and then just carefully tear it away. Get it out of there. Then 
And once we have torn this all out and away, here we go. That's where we're at. Get your pinking shears or your straight scissors. And we're going to trim about a quarter of an inch, maybe just a hair less, away from the edge of the stitching. Just about got it there. Couple little threads to to trim up here. You guys, that's it. We're done here. The camera. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, and we're done. And you guys have a gift. You got something ready for gift giving here. You guys are done. You're totally finished with the project. That is how quick and easy an applique and an in the hoop project is to do start to finish we're done all right thanks for joining me it's always fun to be here with you i will see you guys next month and you could join me in on the facebook live videos and that way then too you could we, we stitch this out on facebook live and you can ask me questions as we stitch along we can chat with one another but anyway you guys have a great have a great day all right i will talk to you soon take care bye bye now